Ofi is a really good player, been around four years, and already earlier on in bracket, we saw him put in work. So I don't think, I, I think Ofi was probably underseeded because he doesn't often compete in these. So we'll see if we will see a quote unquote upset or not. Honestly, I don't know who winning would be the upset here. I mean, in terms of the, the quote unquote home field advantage, and, and by that, I mean the online advantage, you can kind of give that to Tejus a little bit. They've been competing for quite a while and no shortage of inklings as that combo was <laughs> a pretty optimal starter and a pretty optimal finish. Just quick 75, though Inkling can make that up in a, just so, so quickly. Percent differentials don't mean much for the for the squid lolly, but they can, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I said what I said, <laughs> but stock differentials is where she really can struggle. It's like you, Ponderbot, for the subscription. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> All right, it looks like Teiji's clanging with the uh, clanging with the squat bomb thanks to the uh, the witch twist. As they're gonna keep looking for uh, some of these uh, some of these heal slides and some of these start. Yep, there's yet another one and keep it going. Good SDI. Okay, but he still closes out the combo with 65 instead of 75. SDI saved him 10%, but it's still. Still starting to get like a mountain to climb here with how evasive Tejus is playing with the the, uh, the platform resets for all of uh, Bayonetta's uh, for all Bayonetta specials so they don't suffer any RCO lag. It's super huge. Oh, uh oh. B reverse the Witch Twist because he knew it wouldn't connect. Oh, Tejus is playing like, really out of his mind at the start of this. He's not letting Ophi get anything started. He's not, and uh, one of the really key parts of that is the fact he focuses so much on the platform. Uh, knowing that Inkling Roller is one of the best kill options the character has available. And even when he's putting himself in a bad situation, okay, right there, actually, that trade gonna work out. But for the most part, even when he was getting hit, he wasn't dying. Um, but now we have even percent, or sorry, not even percent rather, but rather low percent for Tages, meaning that Pages is going to be looking for kill, whereas Ophi has the freedom to fish for those low percent combo starters. And I like that. The adaptation, realizing that while Tejus is in the corner, he's often going for the burst option to get out. Either the aerial side B or the heel slide as B right there. Ophi's starting to catch on to that, but the timing of it is still tricky. How you can actually punish Bayonetta when her aerials are so... All of her special give... There's so much variance. And this huge, huge punish on that rapid jab, just so far, and so far away from it. But the limbs of the um, of the uh, Madama butterfly just don't don't care about reach. They only care about what they're in coming into contact with. As yet another almost full combo, quick 53 was a little uh, 33 was was a little bit awkward. And yet, uh, man, this looks like it looks like Oof, uh, Ofi Ofy hasn't played against a Bayonetta since the buffs that the, that she's received. So some of the stuff that uh, she can do on top of her meta just getting extra developed uh, over quarantine are, <laughs> are kind of showing off their surprise. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> yep. Ophi may have played a lot of Smash 4, so... Me, Although he's probably familiar with getting dragged up to the top like that, he's probably was not expecting to be having to endure that here in ultimate um but we've seen absolutely that uh tay juice as a player he can pull those off i mean look at that right there the fact that he reset read the option was able to get his jump back meaning that he started the whole combo from basically above this the, the top platform right here yeah like he jumps right there read that jump scouted it out and then as soon as you start the combo up there it's just it's that much more lethal yeah, he had he had two with he had another witch twist in his pocket, two afterburner kicks, uh, his double jump. Uh, it's it, it was a wrap. It was a wrap once he got hit in that spot. Part of what can be frustrating for Bayonetta is finding hits, which is why it's surprising to see uh, Ofi try to go air to air so much and try to play around these platforms. Even right here, like he got the kill off the runoff, but. 
so many times where he would retreat to platforms to set up was always going to be in Tejus's favor, even if it didn't immediately resolve, just because he's natively conditioning himself for uh, platforms to be good. And Bandit always wants you to be on platforms where she can reset and hit you constantly, which is why I guess we're seeing the character swap to Joker, uh, that low dash still very, very prominent. But an even more edge guardable character might not be the best for for Tejus, who has been has been pretty aggressive throughout this uh, throughout that game one. But a solar pace neutral might be the change of pace that o OFY needs. Ofi, Ofi, uh, Ofi needs to get himself back in game two. Okay, Arsene coming in at just the right time there. Oh, but game one, we saw how that first stock was taken with a with the witch time, again at the higher percent, but not able to actually convert a kill from it right here. But just one little nick from that Aegon is certainly gonna do it. He di'd in, but didn't go for the up air. It's kind of what you're not ready for. It's the spot dodge Tejus was absolutely ready for. Uh, there's so many times where, like, you expect optimal di, but then your opponent gives you a suboptimal DI and you're just not ready to react to it. <laughs> yeah, and it is worth remembering that with uh, with Joker's counter, his down B there, he is actively countering until he puts the mask away. So already, you know, the Tejus is going to be waiting, is going to be studying and just sort of trying to, you know, like a quick time event, attack only once the, uh, the, the, uh, the counter has ended. Oh, he didn't do anything, and oh, if I dare, dared him to do nothing, and then grabbed him because of it. And the Witch Twist called out from the Tetracarn. He's been throwing that one out a ton. And great counter as it is, throwing out counters when you're already trying to force interactions and force yourself to get back into the game, not always ideal. That up smash, certainly a little bit of an overextension. Oh, wait, you, the gunshots go low. Good. Good early recovery from OFY to get out of there and prolong his stock even for just a little bit longer. But this speed is slowly starting to slip out of his grasp. Uh, so steadily and steadily still. Fair one won't do it. Yet another back air comes through. That's, yeah. He got Arts. Oh. Hey. Oh, the homie. <laughs> the big blue man coming in clutch. Yeah, the question is what well, so for, for the most part all right that's going to close out the stock uh doesn't actually opt to stay on a halo platform in that situation he could have just waited it out to tick down at our send meter just a little bit but i will say if you are going to abuse that invincibility and instead dish out a bunch of damage then i mean even if it's not guaranteed if you are confident in yourself which at this point i definitely think paid juice is just yeah go for the aggression do not you know slow yourself down if you don't need to arsene does charge a little bit quicker when you're a stock down so he's got it at around 60 but the somewhat recent nerfs being uh, the meter uh, draining faster uh, draining more upon every hit certainly matter against bayonetta who hits you a lot like <laughs> and i mean a lot so yeah, no, yeah, but all, a lot of her hits are multi-hits, which I believe yeah. drag. Uh, oh, where are you going, buddy? Um, <laughs> but yeah. you're absolutely right. Like it, it, it's every individual hit. So a multi-hit move, free real estate. Ooh, going to end up on stage. And one thing is that Ophi is giving so much uh, room at the ledge when he doesn't have access to the, uh, you know, the the counter with our send then i think he's been waiting for those side bees to the stage but for the most part tejus hasn't been giving them and instead tejus has been getting off the ledge relatively for free at the same time i do understand why he would opt to you know go back give up stage positioning the fact that uh like getting reversed while you're the one ledge trapping is just such a just a such a terrible feeling you better watch this meter as <laughs> if we goes for it all with that down air. But these dash attacks to catch landings are huge as he yet again tries to swing for a big backer off stage. Oh, Tejus really needs to stop this meter or call out the up smash. 
a nice little weight to, to really emphasize Ophi being overly aggressive, uh, going deep for these down airs, these back airs, and then finally swinging up smash out of shield. But, I do think that was right. such a smart witch time because he only had like a sliver of a second left with meter. And if you get, if you think about what your opponent is thinking, if you try and really, you know, uh, get inside of their head, like just go for this witch time because he's probably going to throw out a strong move. Yeah, like, look at how tiny that meter was. He might have not even been able to. Like, for instance, if he waited for the switch time to expire, he might not even have had uh, Arsene by the end of it. That's how little there was. So... Yeah, I completely agree. Like, you're... There's so many comebacks that... Uh, that you see with players. Um, players that, like... I don't know, you see Sharp do it a ton nowadays. You used to see... Well, you still see MKLeo do it, and hopefully sooner still, thanks to offline coming back. Where it's like, oh, they get the the killing hit that they need right as Arsene is running low or runs out completely. So going for those big Hail Marys to kill at 60, like, yeah, that's kind of your win condition at that point. Bayo can't, but you're at 158, you got full rage, might as well try and go for it. And that's exactly what Tejus was waiting for. So good stuff from, from them. Uh, they'll be moving on to the other side of winter semis as we try to slowly and but steadily tally down player by player and get it to our top eight.